How long does it take to ride every single adult ride here at Cedar Point? Well, I hope you're ready. I hope you're excited because we're going to find out. Let's go. It has been two years since I've attempted this challenge. And two years ago, it took me three days to accomplish it all. I'm hoping to make it a little bit better this year than I did that year. So it's looking like a busy day here at Cedar Point, though. Lots of people walking down the midways, but that may also be lots of people coming in just at the very beginning of the day. That may be part of the reason why. Now on our way back to our first rides for today, which will be the rides to the right, we're gonna talk about the rules of this challenge and some of the different things that I might do uh, to compensate for my own weaknesses. <laughs> kids rides are off limits. We're not doing any of the kids rides. That means anything inside Kitty Kingdom, anything inside um, Camp Snoopy or Planet Snoopy. So none of those are things that we're going to be doing. If there is something that I do not want to ride, such as Max Air, I will not ride it, but I will stand in line for the duration of the ride. That way you guys can see exactly how long it would actually take to ride every single ride here. I won't even sit in line just for the duration of the, of the ride. I will pick a person who's entering the line when I would be, um, as soon as I go stand right next to the, to the queue. Um, they will enter and I will watch them get on the ride and I'll watch them get off the ride. Once they get entirely off the ride and back onto the pathway, at that point I can start walking to my next place. It's how I've done in the past, but there are definitely a few rides I'm just unwilling to ride. So I'm sorry if you're disappointed. <laughs> but today we're gonna ride as many things as we possibly can. We're going to use the app. I'm gonna have some tips and tricks for you. So let's go. Like I said, this challenge took me three days to complete last year. So I'm hoping to get it done in two, but I'm definitely planning that it's going to take me two times. Now, if I can do everything in one day, then I definitely will. But I'm doubting that's going to be much of an option for me. Because of that, that means I'm able to keep a few things strategically for tomorrow. Today is my 21st day entering the park here at Cedar Point, And I entered just a little bit after 10 o'clock. Now, that is part of the rule of this. <laughs> I pretend that I do not have any kind of a pass. I'm coming in with a base ticket for my very first day of doing this. Second day, I can use my ticket and come in for early park entry. Uh, but the first day, none of that exists. And on the third day, I can use any fast lanes or anything like that that I would like to be able to get for the day. So today, no fast lanes, no early park entry. We are just doing everything as much as we possibly can with our base ticket. The park is open today from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. So it should give me a healthy amount of time to be able to do as much as possible. But that does mean that I have some strategy because tomorrow I'll be here for early park entry. So during that time tomorrow, I'll be trying to hit the early park entry rides like Gatekeeper, Wild Mouse, and Millennium Force maybe even a few others that I will save just in case I need them for tomorrow. So that outlines our priorities, let's go. Before we get into it though, I have some exciting news. We have merch. You've been asking and asking, begging even. So after five years on YouTube, I finally made some merch for y'all. We've got trademark caps and my favorite, the I'm a little toasty t-shirts. Right now, use promo code Let's Go for 15% off the price for these items. So go check them out and let's get back into the video. Now first, I'm walking right past it. It's at a zero minute wait. I don't wanna wait for this for a long wait by any means. And I do know that Magnum will continue to have a short wait for quite a while here. So hitting this on the way back to Magnum is not a problem. It also can give me a little bit of a reason to stop walking for just a second here. So that's definitely worthwhile. 
Let's go up the queue for corkscrew. Row number one here. Right on, walk on, let's go. Corkscrew will rattle your brain. Rule of thumb to help things on it just a little bit. When you go up those airtime hills, make sure your head comes forward, it's not back against the seat, and it's not in between the two things that are gonna box your ears that go over your shoulders. Um, so make sure that you do that first of all. If your head is forward on those airtime hills, then you'll be able to kind of move your head around a little bit. It's an airtime hill, it's a loop, and then it's another airtime hill, and then it's two loops. On each of the loops, put your head back against the seat as hard as you possibly can. Don't leave your head loose at all. Hold it back and just keep it there as tightly as possible. That way, as you go around those loops, you're not being jostled back and forth constantly. Um, and you have something to give you a little bit more stability. Otherwise, you will kind of hit your head back and forth, head banging a little bit. Um, doing both of those things is good. So you go over the airtime hill, head up. You go over the loop, head to the back. You go over the next airtime hill, head forward so that it doesn't go back and forth um, or so that there's freedom to go back and forth a little bit. And then on the two loops, two corkscrews, keep your head back. It'll help just a little bit. I'm not saying, I'm not promising miracles, but it'll help. Next is Magnum here. Approximate wait time, nothing. Let's go. I believe the nothing, I think a walk-on is very much right at this point. Right, and here we are in the Magnum Q. We've got row number four. Let's go. There was a guy on there behind me that said, <laughs> that ride really beats the hell out of you. And yes, it does. And then he also said, but it's really fun though. <laughs> and yes, he's right. <laughs> Both can be true. We waited nothing for that. Um, I, there was one train in front of us that was already loaded. They just had to shoo them off. And then our train came in. It was that fast. Um, so I didn't even give an actual number, but there was like no wait at all for that. So Magnum, one more uh, check for Magnum. I did kind of forget this, that Gemini is not running until 11 o'clock with people on it. So that's gonna kinda throw a little tiny hitch in my plan. But we'll have to come back here to hit some flat rides anyway, so we're going to hit pipe scream right now. Should give us one more solid ride for the day. It says a five minute wait. Now, all of these waits will be upwards of 20, 25, or even 30 minutes um, in just a little bit from now. So doing this gives you a leg up on the day instead of hitting, trying to hit you know other rides that already have the long lines that they're going to have if you go to steel vengeance right now you're already going to wait an hour for that um, if you go to millennium force you're going to wait probably at least 45 minutes for that not to mention i'm using that for my early park entry for tomorrow so getting out some of these small rides in advance is uh, definitely helpful for your entire day. Pipe scream complete. Uh, one problem with pipe scream, if you're on the right side of the green ball, it feels like you are going backwards. And I was on the right side of the green ball. I hate spinning backwards. That's the worst thing on any ride, is if you go backwards. It's something I'm worried about, top throw dragster about, uh, for when they complete that, because I do not want to go backwards on a spike. <laughs> but. Um, it is something that uh, makes it a lot better if you're to the left of the green ball on pipe screen, it'll definitely help you out. Because then, as you spin, you feel like you're spinning forward, which is much, much better, at least in my opinion. Seeing Gemini being down does make me think about something. If a ride is down and is not working and I come to it, I just skip over that ride. Um, if it's, I'll try for it again the next day, or I'll try for it again later on that day. But I don't try to make like concerted efforts to get back to it over and over and over again. If it's down both times or three times that I'm there, um, but especially each day, um, then I just consider it a loss. So if it's one that's 
experiencing a ton of technical difficulties, then that is one that I won't have to worry about. Now, I do know that this is not due, or I'm assuming anyway, that this is not due to technical difficulties. Uh, Gemini has been down every day that I've been here. They just delay its opening. I'm assuming that's not really an issue on it right now, but it is something still where I'll pass, I'll pass over it. Now, usually I make at least one lap, so if I come past it again and it's open, then I'll ride it, especially if it works with my strategy at that moment. It is 10.45 and I've ridden three rides in that uh, 45 minutes, really less than 45 minutes, which is really good. Definitely glad for that. Um, we will see now about Cedar Creek Mine Ride. If it's open, we'll try to hit that next. Does not look like it's open. So we're gonna move on to whatever else might be coming up soon here. Maybe even Maverick. Maybe we'll wait for a long wait for Maverick. It does say this ride will open at 11 a.m. And I am feeling hungry. So maybe I just need to grab some food. I'm back here by Farmhouse Kitchen Grill anyway. That may be a good option for me before it ends up getting some longer lines, which I don't find happen until about 11 or 11.30, but at this point, I'm far enough away from everything. There's really not much I can do besides two massive lines for Steel Vengeance and Maverick. It does smell delicious in here. While the potatoes are not as good as normal, they're very dry. It's the first time I've had to add seasoning to them. In two years, I've never had to do that. But yeah, not buttery at all. Not, not nearly as good. Okay, well, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not one to mince words. That was by far my most disappointing meal ever at Farmhouse Kitchen and Grill. I mean, it was still okay. It's just in comparison. It's, it was very dry. Um, the steak was very rough or tough. And I just was not very good in comparison. It says that Maverick is closed or down. But it does say that Steel Vengeance is 15 minutes. Now, quite honestly, I don't believe that. I don't believe that even just due to all of the people that are in front of me that are walking toward it right now. But we'll see. <laughs> yeah, here it says 60 minutes. I think that's more likely. It's so funny to me when people run to any ride, although slash also annoying when people run to any ride, but especially when you run to steal vengeance and you have a fanny pack on, <laughs> kind of defeats all of it. <laughs> so it's funny to see these people, you know, run to steal vengeance and then be told, no, you can't because you got to go put the fanny pack away. They're opening up everything now, all the way to the back. It was only just open underneath the shaded areas. And now, it is not. One fun thing about that though, is that it is a uh, really nice day to be able to look at the, the ride. Like this is not an incredibly hot day, so it'll actually be kind of fun to be able to see the entire ride uh, from this vantage point. Steel Vengeance still says a 15 minute wait on the app. How? Don't ask me. I have no idea how that kind of thing happens. 15 minutes. This is like an hour and five minutes at least. It's been 55 minutes right now and it looks like we're going into the tunnel. All right, Steel Vengeance now finally says 210 minutes on the app. Finally, that's actually right. <laughs> But I still chose a good time to get in line for this one because I'm only gonna have to wait probably 65 minutes out of what would have been a 210 minute wait. I'm not sure why they don't just open up one of these, take out one of these, and you can go in right here while everyone else waits. Um, of course, you'd still have to wait with your group and you'd have to have everyone get out at that point but then you could meet up on the other side. Seems like that would make more sense. We are exactly at an hour right now while I come to get my lockers. 
So let's go. Now remember, all you need to remember is your birth date and the picture that you choose. So they have pictures of dogs and Christmas trees and all kinds of different things. Remember which picture you chose and your birth date. Uh, if you use a fake birthday, then remember what your fake birthday is. But those are the two things you need to remember. Now, one tip for Steel Vengeance is always go to the left. Always go to the left. I don't care how long the left looks. I don't care how short the right looks. Go to the left, go to the left, go to the left. Going to the left on that one, I don't know why. I don't know why it's happened, um, but I have seen it for the last three years. The left side is always the shorter side. So just go to the left, go to the left, go to the left, go to the left. But Steel Vengeance done. Finally checked off. Um, it did take an hour and 15 minutes, maybe a little bit longer than I would like for it to have taken. But you do also have to ride something, especially when you're doing a challenge like this. And doing a longer wait on that one I can deal with it, it's fine. You're gonna wait a long time one way or another. Well, Cedar Creek Mine Ride seems to be running for a very, very small wait, which I think is worthwhile to get that done and out of the way also. Let's go. Last row here at Cedar Creek Mine Ride. Not sure the last row is a good thing, but that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Welcome back, Ryder. At this time, please. Welcome back, Ryder. That was your ride. <laughs> that sounds spectacular. I hope you guys are ready for today here at Cedar Point. Cedar Creek Mine Ride complete. I have one tip or trick for you. And that one tip or trick for you is <laughs> be skinny. <laughs> it's the only way it's going to feel good. And even then, I don't think it actually feels good. But. Yeah, it hurts. <laughs> now, it is plenty warm enough for water rides today, um, right now. So, it is maybe supposed to rain later on today, but I'm thinking as long as it's warm enough, we're gonna go do some water rides today. Although first, I think we're gonna wait here for Skyhawk. Um, because it is a nice short line. So I'm right here. I found my man. Oh no, never mind, not my man. I found my group. We'll follow them on to the next one. So let's see what it's like, how long it actually takes to get onto Skyhawk. Looks like this is gonna be three rotations for Skyhawk. I don't know why you'd wanna do it. <laughs> Now, I'm still waiting for them to get off here, uh, but I think it is time for some water rides, so that's why this is happening right now. But we're not gonna do um, both water rides today, I don't think. I think we're just gonna do one, uh, which will be <laughs> Thunder Canyon. I, there's so many that swim around in my head. I can't remember what they're all called. So <laughs> I think it'll be really fun. It's time to go. Especially now that everyone is exiting this trip. All right, it's time to go over for a water ride. Now, if you wanna do both water rides, you can. I would say start over at Thunder Canyon, and then from there, you can put your uh, clothes and your shoes and all that kind of stuff away in one of those bins, and then you come over here, and you just have to walk back to Thunder Canyon uh, after you're done with Snake River Falls. But Snake River Falls will drench you to the point where you have nothing on you that is dry at all. Um, and I'm just not in the mood for that today, at least not right now. Uh, if it gets worse, we'll see. You know, that'd be fine. But for right now, no, that's way too much. But we're going to hit one water ride on the way. That's going to be Thunder Canyon. Because Thunder Canyon, it's kind of a crapshoot. Sometimes you'll get totally drenched and other times you won't get very wet at all. And uh, that's kind of more what I'm in the mood for right now, especially if it's open, because this ride has been down a lot lately. Looks like it is, it opened at noon. Not a lot of people in it, but that's okay. Apparently there are people who think it's gross to take your shoes off for this. I, why? <laughs> 
I think it's much grosser to have your shoes on during a water ride than to have your shoes off during it. So, no. <laughs> and yeah, it's looking like absolutely no weight. This is just a straight walk on. One more thing done today by the end of this. They're even sending empties and uh, halfway filled cars or trains or floats, whatever they're called. <laughs> kind of crazy. Especially on a day as hot as today is, I'm surprised more people aren't wanting to do the water rides. Like I've said, sometimes you get wet. I'm a little bit, like just a little bit, not much. And sometimes you don't. I, I've barely gotten wet on this one. Like there's a few spritzes on me. That's all it is. So it just kind of depends on which one you're here for. <laughs> which seat you choose and the weight of the party, you know, and there's no way to guess. It's all gonna, there's enough variables that's gonna be different every time. It did do enough to cool me off. Recently I was at Disney and I rode the water ride at Animal Kingdom and um, that did nothing to cool you off at all. It would have just been like, I was completely dry by the end. That would have made me mad today. This doesn't make me mad, it's just enough, but it does expose the duality of man because the whole while you're on it, you're like, I want to get wet. I don't want to get wet. Don't. <laughs> I don't want to go under the waterfall. I don't want to go under the waterfall. I want to get wet though. I don't want to get wet though. <laughs> Every single time. Looks like there are a lot more people doing the water rides than there have been just this morning. Look at how full it is now in comparison to earlier. So grab your things from those buckets and, uh, you know, get your shoes back on, uh, get your shirt back on, whatever you need to do. I do enjoy having a nice uh, warm <laughs> shirt. <laughs> sometimes it's just nice to have something dry and sometimes if it's a cooler day, it's nice to have something warm. Um, but we're on to our next attraction, which right now is just going to be the barnyard to just kind of walk around to see everything real fast. Now right here is where I've said in a past video, if you are running out of battery, come here to uh, charge your phone if you need to. It is very spider webby, but <laughs> it'll still do the trick for you. And on this side of the barnyard, you do have to have your shirt on. So it's back on, baby. Let's go. I didn't look back into Rougarou, but we're going to try it. We're going to at least walk back there and just see what it's like. Usually it doesn't get massive lines. I can't tell it's not a walk-on. We'll have to try it. Maybe a five-minute wait, something like that. Shouldn't be terrible. Let's try it and see what it's like. Ruger is often a solid bet for not a terrible line. Uh, once again, though, there is a bit of a line here, but you're going to have to do something. Like, I need to do something right now. So instead of just walking on to the next thing, I can hit this, and then we can see where we can go from there uh, to hit one more thing. I have a ton of flat rides that still need to be done also uh, today, so I may get this and Iron Dragon done and then go start on my flat rides for the day. And we'll see if there are any other coasters that may be appealing as that continues. But we've hit most of the coasters already. A, a few really high profile ones we haven't hit yet. Not a terrible wait by any means though. Uh, it's just gonna kind of be one straight line. And this is a very fast loading ride. seven minutes and we're already at the stairs. 
shouldn't be much of an issue at all. If you guys aren't ready to ride Rookaroo, clap once. Why did you clap? Enjoy your ride on Rookaroo. Bye. Time to go get some water over here from the fountain. Make sure to hydrate plenty. You can go to fountains, of course, and they're all over the place. Or you can also go hit um, any restaurant and they will have tiny cups for you to fill up with on water with. Nobody wants to be the person who fainted at Cedar Point. And today it's actually particularly bad because it is such a hot, and humid day today so it's kind of different and worse today in that way now iron dragon is uh has a very long line that would be normally my next one that's the one i would think i should get to but it's kind of looking terrible so we're not going to hit that one right now i think i can get a much shorter wait on iron dragon later on to either today or early tomorrow if i can't get everything done today so right now is our time to get some flat rides that we've missed so far during this day we want to get a good mixture of flat rides and coasters and also a good mixture of a few rides that i don't want to ride <laughs> in today so that we don't have to wait around for forever tomorrow um, last year i got to the point where i only had to uh, do like four rides that i'd neglected so far because i just hated them and uh that doesn't really do a whole lot of good <laughs> cadillac cars is next nice short wait for this no problem at all on that so we're gonna hit this one um quickly here one more thing for us to get accomplished off our list for today don't go right past it on the ride, but I do love wood vengeance. <laughs> get it? Get it? Because steel men, you get it. <laughs> One of the few rides I can film on, so I'm going to do it. <laughs> Always a fun ride. Nothing too fantastic. I mean, when you can drive your own car, how much does it really matter that you can drive the Cadillac car? But when you have a kid, who cannot drive, obviously, that's, that's a different story. They love this. I do love the view of Val Raven, though. That's always fun from here. I just noticed that Cedar Downs was ending the current run that it was on. So, looks like people are just about to get on here. And I am about to, too. So, let's go. This ride is such a high capacity ride that you won't rarely wait more than one rotation on it. Um, it's always nice when you can have less than one rotation on it when you're able to get into the very first one. So definitely good. Here is my horse. So cute. And uh, let's go. You do have to put your hat away for this, so I'm going full ball. But yeah, it's nice. It's also nice that you can tell that it's ending from that ride if you end up riding it. So, definitely a good thing. Let's go! The app says the blue streak is at a 10 minute wait. So that's where I'm headed right now. Over to hit blue streak real fast um, along off of a detour of our flat rides. <laughs> so, let's go. Now, blue streak, I haven't said this this year, but Blue Street is kind of hard to find the entrance. The entrance is way down here. So it's come off to the side. This is the old pirate ride. So it's on the side of the old pirate ride or kind of the building that's connected to Chickas and Pete's. Come down here. Five minute wait and here is the next train. It's been five minutes right now. Wow, someone was excited. And Blue Street. Check. It's a great ride, an airtime machine. Quick tip though, keep your head forward the whole time. If your head's back, there's a good chance you're gonna just bang it a million times into that back headrest, and that back headrest is pretty hard. Speaking 
of Raptor. Raptor says down on the app, but it has people on it. So in real life. So we're going to head off to Raptor right now and uh, see what it's actually like. This is one of those situations where it's kind of disparate. So it either could be a really low weight because everyone thinks it's down so very few people are actually getting on it or it's going to be a crazy high weight. We'll have to see which one it is. Let's go. Yeah. It says like a couple minutes. He was just adjusting it too. And yeah, that looks about right. Maybe 10 minutes, something like that. It's reasonable. Let's go. Seven minute wait here. Are you guys nice. Ready? Let's go. Oh, that's loud. Headed into Hugo's right now for one more little glass of water. Um, nothing spectacular, just just need something to cool me off just a little bit. And like I said, once again, make sure to hydrate, especially on hot days. No one's in here, so it'll be nice and easy for me. I have never done this many things all in one day before. At this point, it's been 13 things. It's not even quite five hours that I've been here and i um, very thirsty. <laughs> but anyway, it's been kind of a crazy day um, and I'm glad to see that we've been able to do so much. We'll see. I'm wondering, this may be the only day that I've ever been able to do everything all in one day. We'll see. I can't imagine all the lights will continue to be low, but we've had some fantastic luck today on this Monday. So I, I don't know, the rest of my week might be shot. Maybe I won't I <laughs> know what to do for any of the other videos. Great tiny glass of water from Hugo's. And now it's time to go. Well, I want to say I'm going to go to the Jack Aldrich Theater, but I'm not, unfortunately. I am headed instead to the carousel. That's our next ride. Let's go. Looks like it's open right now, too. Just barely. You know what, though? I don't feel like supporting my own weight, so we're just going to come sit down right here. Once again, one of very few rides here at Cedar Point where you can vlog on it. So, I'm going to take every advantage I have and do it. So, let's go. I think choosing the seat on the carousel is the number one sign you're I'm pretty sure that's right. Today, we are just hitting these in order. We're headed straight to Ocean Motion next which is our next one. And I think I'll be able to get right on to this next one. So we'll wait one, one rotation before we get on. And they're letting us into our seats already or our spots, our rows, whatever. <laughs> One of my daughter's favorite rides. It's very fun. It's a pirate ship. It's kind of everything you've ever ridden before. <laughs> Nothing spectacular, but a good one more solid thing. And now that makes 14 things that we have done today. Looks like Max Air may be a good option right now. Now Max Air is a ride that I vehemently hate <laughs> and have ever since high school. I honestly only rode it one time in high school, but you can feel every single time that it makes a full rotation, you can feel it kind of pick up off that rotation access and kind of plop back down. And it's just miserable to me. <laughs> I just remember thinking, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die over and over and over again. But, other people can ride it for me. So these guys right here, they're my avatars. And uh, I'm gonna wait for them to have been able to ride it, which I think will be on one rotation. So here we are. 
Let's go. Mexa also does say a five minute wait on it, which I think is probably pretty reasonable um, because this is such a high capacity ride. It does take one at a time, but oh, these people might actually have to wait one rotation. So that may, I may be off just a little bit. It may be two rotations. My Avatar family is getting on right now. That's about two and a half rotations. And they're all getting off of Max Air, which means it is now my turn to go where I need to go. <laughs> Once they beat the pavement, then I can start walking. Most of this is a part of early park entry, which means I'm not going to do gatekeeper right now. But look at how low that line is. Oh my word, I want to so bad. Now, if it's still low and I hit everything else though, then you can bet your boots the gatekeeper is going to be hit later on today. So far, I have spent less time in the park than the rest of the day in the park will be. So I, I've spent like five and a half hours now, and I still have six and a half hours to spend here. So a lot of this I'm still going to be able to do. Um, we'll see how much I can get through. It's, it's looking good so far. Unfortunately, though, I'm headed for one more very hated flat ride. <laughs> Can you really call this a flat ride though? But I'm headed for this ride. We're gonna watch someone go into the queue and they're gonna be my person. But the positive side of that is that I'm gonna go spend some time out on the beach while they do that because otherwise I may not get to go out on the beach today. So. There it goes, and there go my avatars. So, let's go. That means though that I get to head on out to the beach. So shirt's open, let's go. Coming around this way, we've got a nice little area where we can go out on the beach right here. It is time for some toes in the sand time, although I don't know that toes in the sand will actually happen. But at least getting to hang out in the somewhat cool air and also extremely hot air it's kind of the worst of both situations because it's cool enough to cool off your skin and make you sweat and hot enough to keep you sweating now i was just doing some research some looking up history about cedar point and it does turn out that the beach for cedar point was closed off for a very long time there was like a fence between the actual amusement park and Hotel Breakers. So you could drive back to Hotel Breakers, but there was no way to access the beach once you were inside the park, which meant someone actually called them out on it and they said something about, what kind of communists are you guys that you <laughs> wouldn't allow us uh, common folk to be able to hang out on your beach. So uh, they were, they kind of went, well, I guess they're right actually at that time. And, uh, they decided to open it up so that people could come hang out here on Cedar Point Beach, which I think is a novel idea and I'm very, very glad for it. But when my aunt says, no, there was no beach back when I used to bring my kids, there actually probably wasn't a beach. <laughs> okay, so we're done with the first rotation. They just went up and came back down. Now we're waiting on our second group to go. Uh, once they come back down, then I will go wait for them to and uh, I guess I'll have to put my shirt back on. Honestly, today I don't want to put my shirt back on. I just want to stay out here, but, but I guess I can't because of the rules that I made up. Still waiting on it to go, but I can hear a band and I really want to go listen to them. They sound pretty good. Someone different too, I believe. There are quite a few people out on the beach today also. Maybe we'll get some toes in the sand time later on tonight, especially if we can ride everything in one day. I've never done it before. I've always needed more time to ride every single thing, um, more than one day. But who knows? Maybe this is the day when everything will just perfectly work out. They just went up and then went right back down. Like I've never seen them go so fast. They didn't go up all the way. They went up to like about the yellow right there and uh, went right back down. So I was like, what? It's too late. 
but they're like rechecking seats. I'm, I'm wondering what happened, but just as long as it's nothing bad. No, I don't care. <laughs> that's fine. I get to hang out out here on the beach. That's fine with me. Trying to get down to get just to hear just a little bit of music and also to possibly get some water down here. See if I can do both. There we go. Now it's going back up. I don't have long. Although I guess, I mean, really, I can spend as much time down here as I want. I just have to go back through those gates. Otherwise, the challenge is null and void. There are some empty ones today. I really would like to get some friends out here and play some cornhole. I think that'd be a lot of fun. It's Boss. They were here at uh, Halloween weekends this last year, so I'll have to go listen to them uh, sometime soon. If not today, then tomorrow, potentially. They'll just give you a cup and then you can fill it up back there. Um, so that works. That works well enough for me. Nobody playing volleyball today, though. That's the surprising part. All right, so I have to walk back to Windseeker. Otherwise, I cheated. <laughs> So I need to leave from there to go wherever else I'm gonna go. It's just like I took took a little nap or something after I rode Windseeker. <laughs> of course, in real life, if you are doing this, um, there's a good chance that you're gonna have someone else with you. You know, you're not usually gonna be doing the entire challenge by yourself, <laughs> trying to ride everything in two or three days here at Cedar Point. Um, so usually you're going to have a friend, family member, somebody with you, and often you may have somebody with you who may not want to ride every single ride. That's perfectly okay. They can be the person who maybe holds your things or maybe goes and gets a few waters for some people to be able to hydrate a little bit on a very hot day like this. Um, of course, they also may want to stay with your kids or who knows, you know, it kind of depends on who you are. But, um, but yeah, usually you're going to have somebody who could kind of do some of these things for you instead of you being the one that does it by yourself. I love it that they play the music from Rescuers Down Under at this ride. It's my favorite thing about it. If there can be a favorite thing about it. <laughs> At least the music is good. All right, we are headed off to, well, to pass Valraven. We'll have to see if it's a decent wait or not. It says a 30 minute wait. I think from what I'm seeing, I think it might be a bit more than that. It's maybe not the worst line I've ever seen for it. But I think today we can do better. So I'm not thinking this is the one I want to jump for, at least not right now. But despite it being only like four o'clock, I am very, very, very hungry. So we're going to go in, grab some food and maybe grab a drink also. I do have a uh, card with some money on it. So thinking we may use that. We'll see what we can do. Let's go. Got a cool banquet. If you get a drink, you can get the uh, big water along with it, also. Love that here. Um, and I found that at most of the bars, but only if you get a drink. <laughs> Not if you don't get a drink. This corn banquet is really good. Full body. Like it tastes substantial. I like that a lot. Oh, this meal is so good. Today's been such a whirlwind. I'm really having trouble just standing up. <laughs> I just want to hang out here. Just want to have fun. <laughs> Sit and relax. And uh, I, this meal has done that, you know. I need to stand up pretty soon, but it's hard. <laughs> All right, well. I am delightfully toasty, <laughs> but I need to go ride something now, so let's go. All right, we are headed off to Valraven right now, which says a half hour wait. Oh, and it's better than it was earlier. Okay, good. We chose correctly. Let's go. All right, yeah, so the line was all the way out to here. 
earlier. Much better now. Got in this line at 5 o'clock. It is now 5.11 and uh, we're right here. So it's not been long at all for us to wait in this line. All right, let's go. That ride is so much fun. Almost woke me up, but I'm still exhausted. Exhausted. I have run myself ragged trying to get all these rides in today. As I'm looking at things, I'm realizing I may need to go see one show tonight, and that is Come See About Me, or yeah, today. Um, because Come See About Me only runs today, it doesn't run tomorrow. And I'll be leaving early on Wednesday, so I may need to go make sure that I can hit that one time this week. All right, we've got a good one here. 15 minute wait for Iron Dragon. I'm down for it, let's go. Also, it is so hot. Look at all this. Just standing sweat on me. So gross. Pep rally starting right now. Be fun to watch that. Row 8, Iron 13-minute wait here, I'm and the doors are opening. Let's go. I love this show, but I'll probably get to see it tomorrow. So I'm not gonna watch it right now. There was a lot of come see about me there just now, and I want to go see it, especially because I want to hang out with the come see about me people. But I have a I have something that has to be done, so I just can't. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying sorry to you guys. You guys eat up the coasters and not so much the shows. I'm saying sorry to myself because I want to go see the shows. So we're going to go hit this next one though. Um, we do still have Millennium Force that needs to be done and we have Maverick that needs to be done. Before we go see, uh, come see about me at 8.30 or at least those can be done. Um, we still have Wild Mouse and all of the stuff on the boardwalk also to do. And I'm kind of saving those for the last because I know we can hit those for early park entry tomorrow. So anyway, let's just keep going and see what happens. Just say, it says 45 minutes. Yeah, see this is another early park entry ride. So I'd kind of like to leave it for early park entry tomorrow. So we're gonna just skip on past that especially at a 45 minute wait. Instead, let's get back and see what Maverick's doing. All right, so Maverick was down earlier today. Now Steel Vengeance is down. Um, we hit Maverick, we hit Steel Vengeance while Maverick was down. Now hopefully we can hit Maverick while Steel Vengeance is down. And uh, that's working out pretty decently. <laughs> I'm really thinking, I mean, there's a good chance we could get the majority of things done tonight, which is just crazy because it's always been, it's always taken me three days to do this in the past. Uh, last year I tried it, but I used a fast lane for the first day. So I don't really count that in the same way, <laughs> but this year, no fast lane? I haven't even used my single use fast lane and I didn't use my LA Park entry. It's pretty crazy. It is still warm enough today that I would like to hit some water rides, but I don't really think I'm allowed to. Oh, that's cute. I mean, I don't really think that that's the best idea for right now. Best use of my time, even though I'd really like to hit one more because it is so warm right now. Um, but I think that's a good thing for me to leave for tomorrow, for me to get done then. As a matter of fact, I'm considering that maybe I should not do Maverick also. It's also just way too hot, so 
I don't even care anymore. I'm wondering if maybe Maverick is better done at the very end of the night tonight. So I think we're gonna go hit some flat rides instead, see how much of a dent we can make in the rest of the adult flat rides that we haven't completed yet today. So this walk is going a little bit out of the way. I was gonna go out of the way one way or another though, so that's okay, we'll live. All right, we've got Gemini. Gemini's finally open. It says something like a 20 minute wait. I can live with that. Let's see what happens. Uh, we've got two trains going, yeah, so we shouldn't have a terrible wait one way or another. But I suppose that means, sadly, I'm gonna have to button up my shirt. I don't want to. I need the breeze. <laughs> I am, I'm dying today. My daughter likes the red side the best, so that's where we're headed. That was a five minute wait here for Gemini. All right, and our next place is Lake Erie Eagles. Right here, looks like it'll be one rotation that's already going right now. I'm gonna have it almost entirely to myself. Let's go. They told me number three. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a huge fan of this ride. <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> but, <laughs> I will do it for the challenge. So, not to mention, it's also kind of a kid's ride and seeing all the kids on here and then me filming, it's just feels sketch, it feels weird. So, I don't love that, but I'm on it. Let's go. The worst part about Lake Erie Eagles is the very end when you're just stuck in there and they have to let you out individually because I think technically it is a kid's ride. Um, so they, they take like little metal rods and they stab the, <laughs> the uh, buckle and that's what gets you out. Um, I don't love that genuinely. <laughs> it's, just, it's just frustrating because you're just stuck there and you're like, I could easily take my keys and do this, but um, if you do that, they'll yell at you. I've done that before and learned that the hard way, so don't do that. <laughs> but I am on my way into Monster right now, which I think is emptying which means they should be ready to let me on right away. So let's go. We might have, we might have a decent wait. I hate how you always get stuck up here. It's just, <laughs> you just kind of got to relax your way into it and be fine. It's fine. that we are done with monster which is very very fun but it is also very very tight <laughs> we're going to snake river expedition right now which looks like it's still running although i don't know how long of a wait it's going to be um uh, to be completely honest i kind of oh it says 60 minutes well we're gonna go look if it's 60 minutes then we'll do this tomorrow not not tonight <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's too much. Nope, I'm not going to do that. But hey, if people are still liking it, then more power to them. And I'm glad that the boat ride is still something that's going on. I just wish it was a little bit funnier and maybe, you know, at least had a robbing scene or something. Like, hire one person to be the robber all day. Maybe two people so they can split shifts. You know, that's all. <laughs> Keep it simple, but make it something with a little bit of adventure in it. But we'll plan to hit that tomorrow. So we already have one thing that will be planned for tomorrow. Top Thrill Dragster's new white. I wonder, white and orange, maybe? It's definitely going to be different, isn't it? All right, we are on our way to the Super Himalaya now. That is our next thing here at Cedar Point. Looks like they're letting on right now. I don't know if I can make it or not. I don't have it in me to run. The worst part about the Super Himalayan 
is that it is kind of a uh, low to the ground uh, seat that's very hard to get out of. <laughs> Once you reach a certain age, anyway. <laughs> I actually low-key love the way they've disguised where Himalay or where Matterhorn and where the Scrambler used to be. They've really made these look beautiful. It's a far cry from when I was here for winter chill out earlier this year. Now we still have just a few rides that still need to happen. We need to hit the sky ride. We need to hit the train. We need to hit the swings at the back of the park. And then we need to hit pretty much the entire boardwalk. So right now I'm headed to the boardwalk. I'm sure much of the boardwalk is what we're going to be doing during early park entry. So I'm going to be reserving a lot of those things. We're going to be getting some stuff done right now, kind of preemptively for tomorrow. So bumper cars, the Matterhorn, the Atomic Scrambler, all that kind of stuff we can work on until Come See About Me comes up at 8.30, which gives us about an hour right now to ride whatever we want to ride. All right, we are headed into the Matterhorn right now for one more ride tonight get it off our list of things that we need to do here at Cedar Point. Looks like I'm meant to wait here. All right. The nice thing about this ride, the breeze that it makes. Feels so nice. Somehow though, I skipped the scrambler, so I'll have to hit that next. All right, she told me one. So I'm going to find it. One, here we go. I don't know why the sound cut out here specifically, but like I said earlier, we headed over to Scrambler uh, because I kind of forgot about that on my mad rush to Matterhorn. One more ride done, check. This is apparently just the spinningest part of this video. <laughs> I am very dizzy at this point and I still have Calypso and Troika 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 to do. Uh, giant wheel I may not be able to do unless I can convince a buddy to come join me so we'll see but either way I'm gonna do Troika 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 next because I like Calypso better than Troika 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 so let's go. Although I did notice something I really really love the music that they play during uh, Atomic Scrambler. It really has a 1960s like TV theme song vibe to it. And uh, just makes it really fun. I think that's so much fun. I love how here on this boardwalk, we're transported to like a mid-century time that never really existed and doesn't really fully make sense, <laughs> but it's really fun anyway. Troika 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 is the next ride that we're going to hit. It looks like they've just loaded, but it shouldn't take long to get on it for the next one. Um, all of these rides take a little bit longer because they have to go individually check each person. And since it's in a circle, it's kind of awkward as far as that goes. They also have fewer people working these carnival type rides in comparison to what they have on the roller coasters. I do love this sign for Turkey Turkey Turkey. What a great font too. It does work for fast lane also. We don't have fast lane, but it does work for it. I'm not sure that it would actually save you any time though. If I'm gonna be completely fair. All right, I was told yellow number 17. So that's where I'm headed right now. Here it is, let's go. It is no secret that I do not like this ride, um, but I'm doing it for you, okay? <laughs> All right, I'm a little bit uncertain now about what I should do. I can either do Dodge em, or I can do Tiki Twirl, or I can do both, um, but just one will be later on tonight. You know what? 
I thinking that's the best idea. Let's go to Tiki Twirl here, because it's already running. There's not much of a line for it. You can hit that and then head over to come see about me, because those doors will open in about 15 minutes. And I should get on this very next rotation. So it's about perfect for me. That sounds great. Let's do it. I was told car 11. Here it is. I really want to try to hit Dodge them one more time here. But I have a show that I'm wanting to go see. Uh, so. I don't really want to risk it that I might end up being late. So we're going to end up just going straight to come see about me. We're going to hang out there for a minute. And uh, then we'll try to finish up things like Millennium Force. And uh, maybe that. We only have an hour. So we don't have much time to get things done. So Millennium Force and then Maverick would be our only, really our only two options to finish up. So far tonight, I have done 26 rides, which is just off the charts. Way more than I've ever done before. I still haven't hit the sky ride, although we might take the sky ride back, so that may be one more, so we'll get three more. Um, still haven't taken several of the transportation uh, situations, but, oh my word, <laughs> it's just nuts that we can do this much. All right, so now, first of all, look at that beautiful sunset. That is so pretty. Secondly, <laughs> we are headed to the Jack Aldrich Theater for one show of Come See About Me, because I won't get to see it tomorrow, even though I will be here tomorrow. So, I'm thinking I'm very excited to see it. I hope you guys will come along with me. Let's go. 10 minutes out from the opening. Let's go find a seat.
All right, first of all, come see about me rocked again. <laughs> there was a drum solo by Paco. <laughs> he just got me so hype with it. <laughs> like I just can't deal with it. It's so good. I love every second of it. It's so much fun. Every iteration is incredible, meaning like every time they have, a, you know, a certain group, meaning like sometimes someone's sick and someone has to take over. It's always incredible, no matter what. I just love it so much. And probably the biggest thing that I love from that show is the way that you can tell that the group of singers and actors and dancers, they're all connected to each other. They're all good friends. They all know each other. It's so much fun to watch how they react to each other, how they interact with each other, and how they just seem to have such genuine chemistry with each other. That is what makes this show so awesome. But beyond that also, it seems like the showrunners, um, meaning the producers, the uh, people in charge of things, have really given them a lot of freedom to do whatever they think is best during the show. I don't know if that's true or not, but I think that's the difference between the shows here at Cedar Point and the shows that I see at Kings Island that are have equally great talent, but they just don't hit in the same way as these shows here because these shows, I think, these people have been given some genuine freedom to kind of do what they want to do. And sometimes you see little things come up here or there, someone dancing in a different way, someone playing with, you know, a friend and uh, riffing off of each other during the show uh, in the way that they're dancing, in the way that they're moving, things like that so much fun and it just it truly makes me just go like oh my word i want to watch it again and again and again and again i can't get enough of that show all right here we are for dodgem now i think dodgem is my best bet right now dodgem is my best bet because i don't think it's open for early park entry but millennium force is so i can hit this i can hit the sky ride and i might even be able to hit the train and then I'll be able to get on to uh, Maverick from there. Here we come after one rotation, getting the purple car. Let's go. This will be my 27th ride tonight or today, really. All right, and we are headed over to the Sky Ride. One more ride. And I think this will be our 28th ride um, for today. So let's go. Wow, so today has been an absolute blast, and it's still going. I mean, we're, we're not quite done yet, <laughs> but I can't believe we've hit as many rides as we've hit on this. Like, it's just insane. But we do need to ca capture a few of these views around here also. to hit as many rides as you possibly can. This show does preclude you from being able to use the very end of the night, like the last minute, to hit a ride that would have a long, that would have a long line otherwise. Tomorrow. Tomorrow night I'll be here also, so I'll see you guys. 
see it better. I just, I'm having to hype myself up. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever ridden the train at night like this. Not quite sure what Maverick is at right now. Looks like a 30 minute wait still. And that's reasonable. I can deal with that. This should not be terrible at all. And even if it was terrible, I can wait until the end of the night. And if I'm in line just in the last minute before everything closes, then I can still ride. But this is gonna be like a 25 minute wait. No problem at all. It will most likely take me all the way until past the end of the night though, still. Been right at about a 20 minute wait. Let's go. Well, Maverick was awesome. Very last ride of the night. Thank you guys so much once again for hanging out with me here at Cedar Point. I have had so much fun and I hope you have too. We rode 30 rides today in one day, and that is just part one of our Ride Everything Challenge because we will still ride everything tomorrow morning. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below, tell me the most rides that you have ever ridden at Cedar Point. Um, I think this is a freak thing, honestly. I don't think that it was tons of strategy. I think we just had a really great day with the threat of rain but there was no rain that ended up happening and it's monday so uh midweek that's always a good thing to do and you can check out a video about midweek up here also but thank you guys so much for watching um and let's go now it's time for a live stream out on the beach in just a couple minutes so it's time to get comfortable for that <laughs> So I'm very excited about that. That'll be very, very good. I haven't talked to you guys live for a while, except for at my house, not here from the park. So let's go. Hey, thanks for watching. I release theme park related videos at least a couple times a week. So press that subscribe button if you made it this far. Also check out similar videos in the playlist to the right or find my newest video to the left. Thanks again and let's go.